all this stuff right here in front of us is from the bed and bath store we didn't find anything else but we have some really interesting things that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys so let's it's a daily divers here and we are back with another episode for you all if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the dumpster squad and please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course murphy's got a button like usual it's either my or murphy sorry we didn't upload last night today is actually my birthday and we did celebrate last night so we did a lot of stuff with my family and we went out hang out with some friends but anyways we did find some stuff from the bed and bath store all of this stuff right here in front of us is from the bed and bath store we didn't find anything else but we have some really interesting things that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys so let's just go ahead and jump right into it first off i'm going to start with this bin we have a few items in here we have have this really nice it's called a row antenna steam force iron and these things are super super heavy really nicely made these are actually really nice um, irons I got one from my bridal registry absolutely love this thing and it's multifunctional it is missing the cover right there that just covers the water no big deal I don't think it's really gonna affect it anyways because it doesn't really like the steam doesn't pour out of here it just builds up inside compared to other ones like usually the steam will like build up in the covers but these do not so this is pretty oh hold on one second oh we have it never mind it is taped to it so we do have it I'll just have to reattach it so that's pretty neat and then next we have two of these yankee candles midsummer's night these candles smell absolutely amazing they smell just like like men's cologne i can't describe what cologne it is but they smell so freaking good don't need to break off the glass to this one because it's already broken off and then i have this one right here i do have jars that we did find from the dumpster that are wide enough for me to fit this into so i cannot wait to burn these and then next off we found three of these let me pull one out for you 
they are citronella candles by patio essentials they were $5.99 for the pair this is what it looks like so it's like in one of those terracotta pots some like burlap ribbon wrapped around it and it is a single wick the only thing is that some of the pots are kind of broken and cracked up as you guys can see this one's good that one's got a crack that one's chipped that one's broken this one's good and this one just has tiny little hairline cracks so with the other ones that are broken i actually have a really really big one that i have almost completely halfway melted so i'm definitely just going to throw these on top of that and the last thing in the bin i pulled it out i cannot pronounce it i think it's called sorry you guys can hear murphy is jumping up and down the couch for some odd reason he's pretty excited i cannot exactly pronounce it. i think that's Bonico, Benico, but um, it is a humidifier and it's $199 for this. Never found one this expensive, excuse me. <laughs> Never found one this expensive before. This is actually pretty neat. I need to see if it works. I definitely like how it's like really sleek compared to the other ones. They're like really bulky and oddly shaped, but I definitely like this. I gotta see, like I said, if it works, but I cannot believe that it was freaking $199, $200 for this thing. Pretty high tech. It's like pretty big too. It's a nice size water tank. Oh, is that water? Oh yeah, there's actually some water in there. So it may work, I just gotta clean it up. Oh, it's got a little cleaning brush. That's pretty neat. So that's actually really cool, but that is everything in the bin. Then we have two more bags from the bed and bath store. So in the white bag, we have this, I think it's called Krups or Krups coffee maker. It's just like one of those standard ones. It's a really big size coffee maker that is really gross looking and this is just the owner's manual to it not exactly sure how much it costs but that's pretty neat i love finding coffee makers we usually never ever find them oh and also the one um keurig coffee maker that we found i think it was maybe a episode or two ago the silver one actually worked it's sitting in our kitchen right now um i'll have to show you guys eventually i'm not really near the kitchen at the moment and there's like stuff going on in the kitchen and the very last thing that we have in this big clear bag is a vacuum these are one of the lightweight ones we did find them before and as you guys see it has literally all the parts in there i'm gonna go ahead and put it together real quick for you guys got it put all together for you guys and everything is there and the funny thing is is that the little filter to it is still completely sealed so it looks like probably someone didn't figure out maybe how to use it or didn't know that you had to put the filter in there it even has the attachments to it there is an attachment right there and also one on the top so this thing is pretty neat we actually have two of these we have a bigger version and the same exact version it's actually in the closet right there i'm not going to open it because the dogs absolutely hate the vacuums they hate vacuums mops uh, brooms anything that they don't like they'll bark at it and it took me a good while to get them to stop barking to film this this is a really nice vacuum it's super super lightweight not sure if it works i would just have to check but like I said, most of the time they usually do work. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. We found some pretty interesting things, small haul, but a lot of really nice stuff, a lot of candles and some appliance stuff and also this amazing vacuum. So I'm really happy with the stuff that we did fine. And then once again, sorry we didn't upload guys last night, but we do hope you enjoy this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the dumpster squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode. Oh.